Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a short look into the Ethereum price and before we start with the content my friends, we have two very important announcements to make. First off, if you are trading Bitcoin with leverage or even without leverage on Bybit, if you're trading here with a long, with a short or whatever, make sure that you claim this free bonus that we have currently over on Bybit if you put this word jackpot in the rewards hub because like this on your deposits that you will do you will get an additional $500 bonus and also $20 in coupon if you put a deposit up to 1.5 bitcoin on it and this is all next to this extra $90 that you get if you are using my referral code down below here if you have to register still on Bybit. So if you use my invitation link down below here you can get also this $90 in the rewards hub. And the second big announcement my friends is this here over on Femix. Currently there is a new feature that is very new where you can just deposit some tether. So if you have some tether on the sideline you can now put it here on Femex and you can earn some passive money because here you can get up to 10% in interest in your deposit that you put here in tether and next to that of course you can also win a playstation 5 maybe you're one of the lucky one that can win this but also you can get some other nice bonus here as well if you're one of the first that are using this new feature you can see that you have this flexible savings account where you can just deposit up to 50,000 us dollar tether and you will get seven percent interest and if you go with this fixed savings account you can get even up to 10 percent you have to lock like for seven days your money there and you can get up to 10 percent so if you're interested in that if you have some tether on the sideline waiting to buy more bitcoin if we're gonna see a dip then make sure that you stake it over here because like this you can also earn some passive money and also for femex if you still need an account use my referral link down below here so next to this new feature you will also get 80 dollars in bonus if you put also a bitcoin deposit on it so very important my friends if you want to earn some passive money with femex currently you can do that of course this feature is not new only for femex it is new because over on binance we have this already since a long time so here you can stake all the other coins if you deposit over on binance you can earn also some passive money like this because for example you can also hold some bitcoin over there or other coins like Chainlink, for example band protocol and so on and you can also earn Earn some interest just holding your cryptos over on Binance so if you're interested in having a look at that then make sure to use my referral link to open up an account over there so of course you also support the channel like that and now my friends let's start with the content we have currently still this consolidation wedge with a support down here at around $33,500 Bitcoin yesterday had this drop below this support that we were creating here at around $36,000 and as you can see right now we are getting rejected from this new resistance that previously was support so as long as we're trading below this line so below $36,800 and we are closing these four hour candles below all the moving averages I'm pretty confident that we still could see the bearish scenario especially if you're dropping and close four hour candles below $34,000 the current support this yellow line that you're seeing right here because this important support line was also back here once we were breaking 20k a very important support area where Bitcoin always bounced off from so if here we're gonna start to close four hour candles below this important price level I'm pretty confident that we will straight go down here towards 30k test also the 200 the moving average in the four hour and there we're gonna see if we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside again or if we're gonna continue to drop lower towards our next bearish targets 
So the bearish targets we have covered in yesterday's video. If you didn't watch it, then make sure to go to my videos here in the YouTube channel and go to the yesterday's video there. I show you where are the potential support areas if Bitcoin is gonna lose here these 200 moving average in the four hour and start a downtrend here, at least in the four hour time frame. because the bigger ones are still looking very bullish and I'm not expecting to go there like in the daily or weekly into a downtrend. But in the short term, we could maybe have here a positive bigger correction if here in the four hour we're starting again to look more bearish than bullish but as long as we're holding this important support and also trading above the 200 moving average I'm still confident that we could see a possible breakout to the upside and if we are able again to create higher highs in the four hours so here at least we have to take out this one over here at 40k in order to go higher because the potential breakout here to the upside and the target is at around 50k and remember that the next Fibonacci extension based on the lock scale is at $63,000 so if we are able to break here to the upside and reach 50k I'm pretty confident with that we could even reach the $63,000 dollar target and maybe after reaching that important price level we're gonna see a correction who knows everything is possible but therefore we have to wait and see if here we're gonna break out to the upside currently we are still trading sideways here we're still waiting for a breakout at the moment we are getting rejected from the previous little support that we had here so if we are not able again to go higher and create higher highs it starts to look more bearish than bullish at least for the lower time frames and also if we go over into the DXY you can see that the DXY currently is still closing four hour candles above the 200 moving average so here it is possible that maybe we're coming down to test the 9 moving average or 20 moving average at around $90.50 but as long as we are closing these four hour candles above it looks like that the DXY is gearing up for a big move to the upside and the targets are as you know here between the 100 and 200 daily moving average so right here between 92 and 94 dollars 40 and that of course could lead into a crash in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market if we're gonna see here a short lift pump to the upside if Bitcoin is still inverse correlated to the DXY price because currently even though we are seeing this breakout here to the upside the Bitcoin price is still holding strong here above $30,000 and I'm pretty confident that if this potential push here to the upside in the DXY will not affect too much the Bitcoin price that we will not see the correction right now and we will go to way higher levels than what we are seeing right now because if even the DXY is not able to push the Bitcoin price to the downside then nothing can stop anymore the Bitcoin price my friends and then we will for sure see new levels here towards $60,000 pretty soon but we still need more time we still have to wait here for confirmation and also for a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside in order to see where Bitcoin is going to next if the DXY is gonna have this pump that in my opinion is now in the cards and another chart that I want to show you is here the Ethereum chart because here although we have a very similar situation like in the Bitcoin price but here we are approaching very soon the end of this consolidation wedge and maybe Ethereum could be the leading indicator where also Bitcoin is gonna head to because if Ethereum here is able to break above $1,280 I'm pretty confident that we will go towards $2,000 and that could be a leading indicator to which direction Bitcoin is going to break out. So let's keep a very close eye also here into the Ethereum price because if here we're gonna see a breakout before Bitcoin, this could also tell us where Bitcoin is going to break out and then of course we can set up some nice trades over on Bybit or Femix if you're trading over there. So very important to watch right now my friends is the Ethereum price where it's gonna break out then of course the DXY if we're gonna see there a big pump or a big dump that could also tell us where maybe Bitcoin is gonna break out to so we have a lot of things to keep an eye on in order to see if Bitcoin is gonna head higher or lower and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently the price is squeezing here between the 9 daily and 20 daily moving average and I'm pretty confident that here as soon as we're gonna see a cross if here we're gonna see a cross between the 9 and 20 daily moving 
moving average that there we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside or to the downside as it is right now the nine daily moving average now is turning into red so we are in theory in a downtrend here and we should expect the price to go lower since we're not able anymore to close daily candles above the nine daily moving average and that's why I'm also expecting a bigger correction if here we're gonna fail to have the 20 daily moving average as a support because if this moving average is gonna fail then we for sure are coming down to test those important supports that we have currently first here at around 30k then $27,000 and then of course this 20k area down below here where also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up as you can see right now the 20 weekly is lining up here at $19,700 and the 9 weekly is right here at $27,700 so these two important price levels are needed to be hold if we're gonna see a major correction to the downside we also have currently here in the weekly the sell signal flashing. We had this previously as well, but since Bitcoin continued to pump, the sell signal was denied. So it is flashing, but not confirmed yet. But always when this signal is flashing, there is a high danger that we could fall towards these two important moving averages in the weekly, then create a bottom there and then gear up again for a big parabolic move to the upside. So if we're gonna see such a bigger correction down to these two moving averages, I'm expecting a very fast recovery. So make sure that you have already some money on the sideline to buy in this potential bigger dip or at least scale some nice long positions over on Bybit and Femex with your Bitcoins if we're gonna see such a scenario that we're gonna drop down towards these two important moving averages. So this week, my friends, is going to be a very important week and you must be prepared for all scenarios. If Bitcoin here is going to break out to the upside, creating higher highs and go towards 50 and potentially $63,000, if you're not buying Bitcoin, then at least with your Bitcoin start to scale in some longs. If here we're gonna break out to the upside and take out the 40K and $42,000 highs that we had so far, because the push to the upside will be very huge and you can do some very nice gains if you're trading this with a long position. And at the other hand, if you want to open up a short position, then wait here till we're gonna fall at least below $34,000 or maybe even better if we're gonna start to close four hours our candles below the 200 moving average so below 30k then maybe you can take a short position down towards 27,000 or maybe even towards 20k but this is still what we need to wait here so that's why just be prepared for that scenario that if we're coming down to those levels and start to correct heavily here that you're able to scale in a nice short if you want to short and if you don't want to short then just wait for this bigger correction that we're gonna reach the bearish targets to then start to scale in some nice long positions because for the long run you can do very nice gains like that and keep in mind that if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage here on Bybit or Femex you can still use the co-vesting feature over on Primax PT because here you can just easily register with your email put some Bitcoin over there and then you can just click here on follow on the trader that you would like to follow so if they for example are going to open up longs if the price is going higher automatically you will also trading according to these traders so you don't have to do anything just select the right trader and like this you can also do some very huge gains without doing anything of course it is also risky but like that at least you will gain even more Bitcoin if the trader is successful and trading also on the right direction of course so you see my friends we are still waiting here for a breakout keep an eye on the dxy and also on the ethereum price maybe there we're gonna see where also bitcoin is gonna head to next one of these three are going to have a breakout pretty soon and there maybe then we're gonna see where also bitcoin is gonna head to next so as soon as something important is going to happen i will update you here on youtube with a video so make sure that you are subscribed and also tick the little bell here on the youtube channel and if i'm not on the computer then for sure i will update you over on discord the chat is completely for free we have a great crypto community over there so feel free to join it the link is down below here and sometimes 
when the price is moving very fast i go live over on twitch so make sure that you join also my twitch channel all the links are down below here in the video description and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for watching and for your great support make sure to leave a like here on this video very very important it helps the channel very much and if you have any kind of questions or requests then make sure to leave it here in the comment section so enjoy your day my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye for now.